hi everyone and you're welcome to my channel so today i'll be showing you how to cut and sew this flare palazzo pants you can make it as a jumpsuit or just a pants to pair with the top so without further ado let's get on to the tutorial so this is the fabric i'm using to make the pants i have three yards of this fabric this is a lightweight crepe fabric and it stretches on one side so we're making use of three yards but if you're making it as a jumpsuit then you need more than three yards so on my pattern paper i first of all went ahead to create a starting line and then i measured the length of my pants so from my crouch depth i'm going to be dividing my hip measurement into four so my hip measurement divided by four gives me 10.75 so i went ahead to mark exactly 10.75 on my pattern paper which is going to be my crouch depth And then next, I went ahead to measure my waist to hip measurement, and I have 8 inches as my waist to hip measurement, so I'll go ahead to rule a straight line also. And then next, I'll take my waist to my knee line, which is 20 inches. I'll also be ruling a straight line too on that point. So after getting all my lines, I went ahead to label them my waistline, hip line, crotch line, and knee line. So on my waistline, I came in by 1.5 inch, and then I'll use my ruler to connect that to my hip line. So on the trouser length, I will also be going in by 1.5 inch, and then I'll be using my straight ruler to connect that point to meet with my hip line. So after getting the shape of the pants for the side part, the next thing I'll be doing is imputing my body measurements. So for my waist, I divided my waist into four, and then I added two inches sewing allowance. Then on my hip line, I will divide my hip into four, and then add one inch sewing allowance. Then on my crotch line, I will be taking my round lap measurement. So I'll be dividing the lap measurements into two. So for my waist, I divided my waist into four, my hip i divided my hip into four then for the lap i would divide it into two and then i added one inch sewing allowance so i'll go ahead to connect the three points together i'll be connecting the sewing allowance points together so what i have on my crouch line i'll go ahead to measure that and then take it to my trouser length and mark there then i'll come in by 1.5 inch then that point i'll be using my straight ruler to connect that to meet with my crouch line so after doing this on my waistline i'll come down by one inch for the top part of my waist i'll come down by one inch and then use my ruler to slant it to the side part so basically, first of all, what you need to do is draft out your straight pants before you slash and spread it to get your flare pants. So this technique is quite simple and easy, and it also helps you to see fabric. So what I did next was divide the space on my crouch line into two. And then from that point, I'll just roll a straight line to my trouser length. So basically, this is how to draft a straight pants trouser in case you don't know how to draft it. So the next thing I want to do before cutting out my pattern, I want to just go ahead to like draw a line going towards the crouch line, like a V going towards the crouch line and then another line going towards the hip line. So this is going to help me slash and spread my pant, my pattern very well to get the flare pants. So at this point i can go ahead to cut out my pattern and then show you how to slash and spread it on your fabric so when placing on my fabric i don't need to add any sewing allowance again because i've already added sewing allowance on the pattern paper i've added sewing allowance to the length and also on the side part so after cutting out the pattern i went ahead to cut open the line that i drew and then that v part i drew before i will just go ahead to cut it open towards the end although i will not be cutting it out so i folded my fabric into two i have 25 inches here on fold 
so i told you before that i'm making use of three yards of fabric but if you want yours to be more fuller then you can get like four yards so after doing that i place my pants pattern on top of the fabric to spread it out so I'll be using my pins to hold it down to secure it so it doesn't move when I'm cutting it. So guys, I just want to show you how to draw out the um, pattern for your pocket. So I came in by 2.5 inch for the width and then the length I used 7 inches. So I'll just use my ruler to connect the two points together. So after cutting my pattern for my front and my back, so I'll just go ahead to cut that part open for my pocket. So if you're going to be adding pockets to your pants, this is how you do it. But if you don't want to do that, then there's no need to draw that line. So guys, I've gone ahead to cut out my front part. So I just went ahead to follow the pattern of the pants after slashing and spreading to cut it out. So I'll place it on my remaining fabric now and show you how to cut out the back parts. So I folded my remaining fabric into two and then I placed my front part on it so as to be able to draw out my back pattern. So I'm going to extend the line of the pouch to the back pattern and then I'll be coming out by two inches. So I'll just go ahead to take that two inches straight down till I get to the end of the trouser. So from the waist part, I will go up again by one inch and take another one inch. So that first one inch was what I removed from the first pattern. And then I added another one inch to make it two inches, okay? So I'll be connecting that to my waistline using my ruler. So to get the curve for the back flap, I came out by two inches on that point and then i'll be connecting the three points together the points for the crouch line and then i'll connect it straight up to my crouch line on the top part Let me take you back to a time when time so this is how the back pattern for the pants should look i will go ahead to cut out my pattern now and then after cutting out the back pattern, I can go ahead to cut out my pockets. So like I said, if you're going to be adding pockets to yours, then you can cut out the parts I drew for the pocket at the front. So guys this is how your front and your back pattern should look like when you're done cutting so i'll go ahead to cut out my pocket and then i will take it to my sewing machine to fix and sew my pants fix my zipper so if you want to see a tutorial on how i sew these pants then i will drop a link below on the description box on how to sew your pants it's still the same process so here is how my pants looks after i was done sewing and then stitching my band and my pockets then for this particular one i fixed my zipper to the back and then the only difference between the other tutorial on sewing pants with this one is just the band so instead of cutting my band to be curved i just went ahead to cut my band straight and then i fixed it straight so that is all for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed the making of this pants please do well to like share and subscribe Till I get up, time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us.